Dear learners, welcome to this LMS platform introduced by Krishnakanta Hendrik State Open University. Today we will discuss the unit 7 of the paper Sociology and Introduction which is meant for the MA first semester learners of Sociology. Now after going through this unit you will be able to explain the meaning of social disorganization, identify the impact of social disorganization in society and analyze the factors which lead to social disorganization. Now first of all let us try to know the meaning of social uh, disorganization. Emil Durkheim considers social disorganization as a state of disequilibrium and a lack of social solidarity or consensus among the members of a society. Now let us try to discuss the different types of social disorganization. By analyzing the different definitions given by different sociologists, we can classify social disorganization under the following heads uh, which we shall discuss now. First of all, individual disorganization. It refers to the individuals whose personality is not in consensus with the socially approved patterns. Now, there are various reasons or forms of individual disorganization. First of all, uh, delinquency. Delinquency is one of the serious problems of a society. When an individual who is not an adult yet and has deviated from the course of normal social life, then his or her behavior is known as delinquency and he or she is known as a delinquent. Then secondly, in this category, we have the adult offenders or the criminals. Adult criminals are subverting the purposes of their own group to attain their own shellfish ends and promote chaos in a particular society. Some of the e examples can be the decoids, robbers or the sexual offenders. Then we have the alcoholics or the drug addicts. The addicts make up one of the most significant part of the disorganized persons in a society. Then we have the family disorganization. Family disorganization is a result of the breakdown of a family. It is the weakening or the disruption of the role patterns of the family members. Let us discuss some of the reasons of family disruption. Family tension. It can be due to the conflict among the members. It threatens the stability of, the mar of a marriage which leads to eventual disorganization. Then desertion. Desertion is an of unofficial indication of a dissolved marriage relationship. But at the same time, uh, the, it is a, uh, there is a penal offense for this. A person can be sent to prison for deserting his or her family. Then finally, we have a divorce. Divorce is an official breakdown of a marriage. It occurs after the family is disorganized and when one or both the parties have a strong desire to desi uh, dissolve their relationship. Now the third type of social disorganization is community disorganization. Community disorganization refers to a form of disorganization that affects the majority of the people in a particular society. Let us discuss some of the forms of social uh, or community disorganization. The rural community disorganization. Many rural communities have been seriously disorganized by the profound and disruptive changes which the federal legislation, agricultural science and the modern inventions have brought about. The changes in agricultural methods and the shift in the rural population have had a profound impact in the institutions serving the farmers need. The failure of the village and the town institutions to serve the needs of the rural population is another aspect of rural community disorganization. Then we have corruption. Corruption is a malice that has impacted a large number of people in society. Thirdly, we have unemployment. It is another reason that has led to social disorganization. As far as our civilization is concerned, unemployment problem has been a community problem both at the local and at the national level. It is an economic phenomena which is not contained within the national boundaries. Social planning and government spending is essential to achieve continuous or full employment. Now let us try to discuss about the international disorganization. Revolution. 
Revolution is a social disorganization in its most literal sense. Due to revolution, the patterns of relationship binding a large functioning group is broken. Then we have totalitarianism. Totalitarianism is another major form of international disorganization under which the decisions of the leader possess the authority of law. Then we have war. War as a social disorganization is in its most violent form. It is a formal disruption of the relationship that bind a nation together. War disrupts world harmony as well as international trade. Now let us try to discuss the factors that lead to social disorganization. First of all, psychological factors. Sometimes the cause of social disorganization is found in human psychology itself. Psychological factors contribute to social disorganization in two ways. When there is a failure to maintain proper communication among the fellow beings, then when there is a failure to modify or change one's attitude with the demands of the time. Then we have cultural lag. It refers to the imbalance in the rate and the speed of change between the material culture and non-material culture. And when this gap occurs, often this leads to social disorganization. Then we have physical or geographical factors. The maladjustment of the people of or the individuals with his or her culture due to certain extraordinary physical or geographical condition or situation may cause disorganization in society. Then we have biological factors. Population explosion or extreme sparse population, for instance, or um, interracial intermixture, defective hereditary traits, and other such biological factors may also create disorganizing effects upon a society. Then we have ecological factors. Social disorganization is also related to environment in terms of regions or neighborhoods. Then we have degeneration of values. Social values are often regarded as sustaining forces of society. They contribute to the strengthening and the stability of the social order. But due to rapid social change, new social values come up and the old declines. And when this situation arises, it also leads to some kind of disorganization for a certain uh, period of time. Besides the above mentioned factors, there are some other factors which may lead to social disorganization and let us discuss those. First is conflict in attaining goals. Now most of the individuals have similar goals in society, but there is lack of sufficient means to achieve those goals by legitimate means. Then some members may resort to illegitimate or illegal means resulting in vice. Then we have decline in social control. The declining control of religion, morals, custom, tradition and other institutions on the behavior of individuals has also enhanced the process of disorganization. Then extreme division of labor. According to Emile Lerkheim, Social disorganization is also brought about by extreme division of labor. Then finally, we have disruptive social change. Sudden and radical changes, as we have already discussed in context of revolution, which leads to physical, biological, technological, cultural changes, may sometimes disrupt the stability and the organization of a particular society. Now, how do we remove social disorganization? Let us discuss some of the ways. Removing economic disparity could be one of the ways. Economic disparity in a modern society is a major cause of concern to society as a whole. Keeping in view of this fact, the government should make effective economic planning and utilization of manpower resources of the economic country for removing such disparity between the rich and the poor. Then making social norms flexible and dynamic. This organization in society takes place due to the 
rigid nature of social norms maintained by the conservative section of society. A progressive society must have to change, modify and improve the existing social norms from time to time in order to adjust themselves to the changing needs of the time. Then we have training in social heritage. Curriculum in schools should not only satisfy the scientific and technological needs of the future generation, but should also reflect the desirable elements of our social heritage. Then finally, universalization of education. Illiteracy and ignorance is one of the major causes of concern to the developing societies. Such conditions are mainly responsible for creating problems of social disorganization. In this context, the role of education is immense to control social disorganization. To remove this problem uh, like um, delinquency, a favorable situation of emotional understanding and trust should be created in the school environment. In order to remove individual uh, disorganization among people, sex education should be provided, which tries to develop healthy, scientific and reasonable attitude towards life as well as sex. Education can help in population control, which is one of the main causes of family disorganization. With the help of education, problems like family tension can also be prevented by providing family counseling through various agencies. To prevent family disorganization, adult education is also very much important. Moreover, to solve the problem like unemployment, remedy lies in steeping up industrial efficiency. For this, a country should reconstruct and overhaul the educational system according to the changing environment of the country. If the coordination among the countries are workable, then international disorganization is also not going to take place. Education can help in this context also to strengthen the sense of international brotherhood. International conferences should also be organized by the nations, which will allow or enable the individuals to understand the current problems and how to solve these problems through discussions and deliberations. So in this video, today we have discussed about social disorganization, its meaning, various factors that leads to social organization. After going through this unit, I'm sure you all will be able to understand or identify the aspects in your society that has led to social disorganization. Thank you.